guys, Lego my here, and today I am showing how to host your own Pokemon server. Um, you have to require a computer. Sadly, you cannot host it on your phone, but there is an application where you can host it on Android. But I won't be showing you. So first, you want to search in Pocket Mine, and you'll see this one that says Get Pocket Mine MP. Please click on that one, and then we have here. So first, click on Get Pocket Mine MP, and then run the installer. Now I already installed this, so you, so you wouldn't. So once you complete it, you have a brand new folder named Pocket Mine MP. Now, uh, once you run the installer, Pocket Mine MP, this is what your server software will look like. Um, there's bin, SRC, players, plugins, worlds, ban, I, ban, ban IPs, console. Now this is, uh, way better than a real server. So, to edit your server, first you want to go do server properties. And then here we have here. So, we have, you can, the description of the server and then uh, the motto of the day, when you join the server, this um, thing will say it. And then here, you have to type in your IP. Now it is required, you have to type in your server IP. And, uh, and I'm guessing you might want to do the external. I forgot how I got my IP, but you want to go, you want, to go back in the browser type in IP chicken and this will be your external IP address what people will use in order to join your server so copy that down go back into here go into server properties and then change that and then your server ports um, I recommend you leave it in ordinary if you want it to be an easier address and server type you can change that you can change the memory limit, but if it goes down to 128, it's you're screwed. So uh, this will check out the update, and you can turn on whitelist. You can protect your spawn. You can adjust your view distance. You can edit. You can put as much place as you want. If it's a private server, you can just put two, two, pick as much as you want, and you can allow flight and you can turn on spawning animals or mods you can do default game mode you can turn hardcore on pvp off you change the difficulty generator settings and you have to do all of this and stuff so once you got that all prepared you want to go do start world and then it will run the cmd console right over here you need to, uh, it will say generating level, mine's already here, like I said, and, um, ooh, yeah, I have, I have a, some of my plugins have an incompatibility, so, uh, what's bad about this is that, I mean, yeah, I'm doing this video because someone told me to. So, uh, remember, this is the external IP, which will, people will use in order to join your server, and you have to type in. So then, you all you want, you need to do is go into your, uh, your start area, and then go to search, and then CMD. So all the way up here, you'll have like a CMD console. Um, you open that, and then you see here, you type in IP config, no spaces, no capitals, just IP config, like that. IP C O N F I G. Open that, and then you want to look for your IPv4 address right over here. And then you have to type in your IPv4 address in your. So you go back to your browser and type in your IPv4 address right into your uh your on me box you need an on me box i'm guessing and then right when you click enter you need a verification of your router now the router will look different if you don't have ingenious like for netgear 
you need to use default passwords unless you changed it. So you need to figure out the passwords for this. So, for example, if you're using Netgear, default password is um, admin and you haven't changed it, then you could do that. And Genius default password is admin. Some default passwords are passwords or just password. So yeah, you do that. So now we have right over here, uh, we have your system you want. So yours will obviously look different, but what has in common is advanced center, open advanced center, open port forwarding, and then here you have to port forward your server in order for people to join your outside server. So first you want to type in your server name. And then type in your your IPv4 address again. So you want to type in your IPv4 address. And uh, by the way, if you want to host pu uh, multiple servers, you the easiest way is just to change this port. Like uh, this is a mixture of computer servers and partition servers. So yeah, you got so you got to port for this in order for outside people people that are not connected your, to your internet to join so you need to give a description it could be anything and then you have to type in your ip for address you have to put both protocols for tcp and udp and then your local port is the port you typed in earlier and then it's the same one again and then you press and then you add and it'll probably apply and then you have successfully port forwarded your server. Now that you got the server on, you can join by typing in your IP address. So now this is what the server will look like. It'll start starting and then you'll have all. So then you can add plugins right over here. It's completely free software. You can add all these plugins. You can add as much plugins as you want, but if you, but some plugins are incompatible with others, so it won't work on every single plugin. And uh, if you want to, uh, if you try and attempt to host multiple servers, sometimes it will say access is denied. Press any key to continue. Um, I'll show you a video how to fix that later. Also, I want to show you, but I don't. I think I have it still. Um, never mind. So now you, what you have to do is go in. Uh, hold on, let me go find instructions. I don't really know how to join. Okay, so this is how you join your own server. You need to have the latest version 7.5 if your server software 7.5. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention, uh, if your server is outdated, like your server is running 7.3 and you have 7.5, you cannot join that. Okay, you cannot do that. So first you go into the Minecraft Pocket Edition and main screen and tap in play. Second, you have to tap the edit on the top right corner. Third step is a new button will appear. Tap external. It is next to the edit button. You tap on external, and then here is your uh, server. So um, if you're connected to the to your own internet where you port forward, you can just do your IPv4 address or either your external address. Both ways work, except if you're not connected to internet only. External works, and then you have to type in your port. Press add server, and then you have it. Uh, some reasons you can't join is probably because you uh, didn't port forwarded or set up the server correctly. And also, uh, this server is more advanced because this will have commands. It will have commands. So, you, uh, so ops can use commands like, and then your redstone plugin if you see my other video so that's how you do it and now another video i will show you how to get plugins thank you for watching guys like about here 
peace out and wait shout out to sky for mentioning this because um i never could have done it without his mentioning thank you sky and bye